1995, my uh, book in English, the first directorate, was published by St. Martin's Press. Well, it was a successful book, and I described the events of my uh, career and my uh, sort of uh, uh, change of my uh, views on many issues. Uh, in fact, uh, that was the book about the guy who spent 32 years in the Russian KGB intelligence service and yet embraced America and at some point decided to come and work here. But when the book came out, I did not plan to stay in the United States forever. I never imagined in the craziest dreams of mine that I would ever become a citizen of the United States. But that happened. That happened because of Mr. Putin's special attitude to me. In fact, when he charged me with treason and I, re well, rebuked him and uh, called him um, a war criminal, uh, and I said, how could you call me uh, 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 just a traitor without due legal process. You are a graduate of the Leningrad Law School. Uh, you should know that the assumption or presumption of innocence is a uh, cornerstone of any uh, democratic society. So they held a, 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 a secret trial in Russia several years later. And in 2002, I was convicted and sentenced to 15 years in well, I mean, tried in absentia. Well, ever since I had no choice but apply for a political asylum in the United States, and I was granted uh, that asylum and eventually granted American citizenship, which I was very happy to get and which I'm very proud of. Well, that allowed me to look back at the old days and reminiscence about how and why it happened. And, uh, well, I was approached by a um, publisher of the uh, basic books uh, who suggested that I write uh, another book or revise my old book, expand some uh, chapters and add whatever I believe I should. And that's exactly what I did. I finished that book, Spy Master in uh, 2008 and now it's out uh, in bookstores and uh, on websites, Amazon uh, books uh, and uh, other places. And uh, this book uh, uh, is indeed uh, a revised edition of the old one. Uh, well, a new introduction which uh, reflects my new uh, situation in the country. I mean, something which I never expected to ever happen. And then, of course, uh, some inner uh, chapters were revised, uh, expanded. Some names which I never mentioned in the old days for ethical reasons. Well, now I see no reason why I should hide. So I do mention a few names of the people who were involved in the intelligence process when I was running intelligence operations in the United States and from Moscow across the world. Well, now what I did in terms of uh, Updating uh, my the epilogue of my book is perhaps uh, most uh, important because it summarizes uh, the stuff what happened uh, uh, before my uh, uh, arrival and final settlement in the, in the United States, and um, it also uh, gives uh, some uh, uh, short uh, characteristics of the. Uh, so uh, Russian leaders, including Mr. Putin, and some of the events which happened in Russia, uh, including the assassinations of numerous individuals, political dissidents, which happened in uh, during Putin's uh, tenure in power. But I'm still very proud and happy that the book uh, about uh, why it happened that a former KGB general settled in America became a citizen of this country, the man who never defected from his own country, the man who was pushed out from that country and cannot go back because the Russian regime has been simply uh, changing towards a old, not as bloody, but a pro-Soviet system. And this is what Mr. Putin actually said nostalgically. He has said the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th 
century is the collapse of the USSR. That his pronouncement reflects the moods and the true nature of the current Russian regime.